Hey yo, what's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. It's your boy Jesse Keegan and your girl Fanny Lungu and we are Fanny and Jesse. Jesse. So right about now we're gonna do another reaction video and before we get into the reaction guys I want to say thank you for subscribing for getting us to 20,000 subscribers. You guys are so amazing. Thank you so much. Keep on subscribing. Let us know exactly what you want us to react to and for the people who are giving us suggestions in the comment section you guys are amazing and I mean it's such a good time to live when you know just people are just enjoying what you're doing and uh trying to give you things to react to and whatnot you guys are amazing so without any further ado today we're gonna react to uh i think this is mufti mank alan musk should hear this so without any further ado let's get it allah almighty tells us quite clearly that whoever strives towards achieving the goodness of this world, we will give it to them. You worked hard to achieve the goodness of this world, we will give it to you. Listen, verse number 18, Allah says, مَنْ كَانَ يُرِيدُ الْعَاجِلَ عَجَّلْنَا لَهُ فِيهَا مَا نَشَاءُ لِمَنْ نُرِيدُ Whoever wants this current life that you're in right now, you know, that which is right now, and strives towards it, we will give whatever we wish to whomsoever we wish from amongst them, we will give them. And in the hereafter, they achieve nothing. They didn't believe in it. They didn't want it. So if someone says, listen, I'm not interested in the hereafter. I don't even want to know what happens to me after I die. I'm not even interested. I don't even believe in it. I just live my life. I want to enjoy it. And that's it. Allah says, we may give them that enjoyment. And then in the hereafter, they get nothing. They didn't even believe in it. They weren't even bothered to try to understand. They didn't even want to know. So that clears for us something very, very big. We are reconnecting with revelation in order to understand why the transgressors and the disbelievers achieve a lot in this world. Allah says, because they strove for it. They worked hard to achieve it. And we decided we're going to give it to them. You want the world, we give you the world. But in the hereafter, there's nothing left because for you or you didn't believe in it. So you see a lot of people who are far away from the Almighty. They, they are not even bothered about the hereafter, but they're enjoying this life. How? Well, because Allah decided it's okay, they're working towards it, we give it to them. Anyone who works hard to achieve anything, they may achieve that thing. So Allah says, yes, we may give it to them. Now... Allah says, in the hereafter, they've lost. They will be cast in the torment, in the punishment, in what's known as Jahannam, in hellfire, etc. All of that is there. So these warnings are delivered in the Quran. They're delivered in revelation. But at the same time, the Almighty gives the good news. Allah says, وَمَنْ أَرَادَ الْآخِرَةَ وَسَعَى لَهَا سَعْيَهَا وَهُوَ مُؤْمِنٍ Whoever intends the hereafter and works and strives towards it, then, subhanAllah, if they're believers, Allah says, their striving will definitely be met with gratitude, with a reward, with paradise. When you strive, it will be met with that paradise. So, when I fulfill my five daily prayers, the Almighty doesn't guarantee me the best conveyance and good business and a healthy job and a fat salary and everything else. But he says, you are working towards what here? You're working towards the hereafter. We'll give it to you. The others worked towards the world. We may give it to them, even if they don't believe in the hereafter. So that's why Allah Almighty says quite clearly, in verse number 19, وَمَنْ أَرَادَ الْآخِرَةِ Whoever intends, whoever has aimed at the hereafter and strives, works towards it, and they're believers, they believe in the Almighty, in the hereafter, Allah says, you know what? They won't regret. And then Allah says, كُلَّنْ نُمِدُّ هَا أُولَاءِ وَهَا أُولَاءِ مِنْ عَطَاءِ رَبِّكَ you know, the giving of Allah, the distribution of Allah, the wealth, the sustenance, the goodness that comes from Allah. He says, I will give these and I will give those. So for Allah to have given all parties does not necessarily mean he's pleased with them in this world. 
when Allah's given someone a lot of the world and money and holidays and happiness and meaning a type of joy where they have beauty and the whole world, they have the millions and the billions. It does not necessarily mean that the Almighty is pleased with them. He says, we've given them. You know, the giving of Allah is, it was not going to be prevented and stopped. It's up to Allah what he wants to do. So he said, we give both. So we may give these and we may give those. But Allah says, Unzur, kayfa faddalna ba'dahum ala ba'd. Look at how we have raised some above others in virtue. Look at how we have raised some above others in virtue. These people might look downtrodden on earth, but we've raised them in rank because they have earned the hereafter. And these people look so high on earth, but we have dropped them in the hereafter. They didn't work towards it and they will have nothing there. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا الْآخِرَةُ أَكْبَرُ دَرَجَاتٍ وَأَكْبَرُ تَفْضِيلًا Indeed, the hereafter is greater in levels and the hereafter is greater in virtue. What he is saying is people work for this world, others work for the hereafter. Some work for both, preferring the hereafter. Some work for both, preferring this worldly life. Allah says, well, we give all of those, we give all of those, but bear in mind the hereafter is far better. The hereafter in another verse, Allah says, is everlasting, which is there. And Allah says, it is greater in virtue. You want to work towards something? Work towards the hereafter. And Allah Almighty actually tells that to us. What do you think about this? It's pretty deep. Uh, yeah, it is. I mean... What angle do you want to look at it from? Because I'm thinking... Why do you think it's misleading? Why, why do they put Allah, Allah and Musk? <laughs> I feel like it's talking about, you know, when you're acquiring all these things but you're not maybe a religious person. That's how I've taken this. Is he religious? He's not a religious person but he's making a lot of impact to people. He's still not religious. Yeah. Do you understand? Yeah. Like you're not... You meant, of course, you can dedicate all your time to all these worldly things, but at the end of right. the day, There's you're going to die. To, it, yeah, like you don't have time to pray or something. Is that what you're saying? Or? No, I'm just trying to listen to what you're saying. No, at the end of the day, he's going to die, yeah? You can get whatever you want in life. You can be mm -hmm. blessed by God however you want. That's why he was saying, yes, you're putting in the work. So God feels like, okay, let me bless you. Let me reward you for the work that you're putting in. But then if you're not believing in anything, so what do you live by in life? That's what I wanted to ask you. Because you know, for some people, religion is a lifestyle. You always have like that one thought at the back of your head, like even if you do something, something is going to check you. That's religion, like put you back into life. In case you don't drink, you drink, you feel guilty about it. Can I ask you like God will punish you, do you understand? He's talking about the here after and he's talking about... Mm -hmm. Wait, before I okay. forget. But then he said something like others are working for the here after and others are just working for the now. Yeah. How can you put in work now for the here after? What if you don't make it? Make it to the here after. Mm -hmm. For you to make it to the here after, you have to be righteous enough, yeah? So you can have all those benefits. Okay, I guess so. Huh. What if there's no year after? What if it's just, mm -hmm. a, uh, you know? Okay, now. So the question is now. I want to ask you a question. You uh, haven't answered mine. Huh? What was it? <laughs> you haven't answered mine. What was it? You've answered it with the question what if there's no year after? What if you actually, your what deeds are not. Like, of course, you did do good deeds, but then you just mm -hmm. don't make it. I mean, if you don't make it, you don't make it. I mean, that's. That. That's the sad truth now. I mean, that's the sad thing. So, um, I don't know. It's, I wish there was a word. We really want to... Okay, now, this is a belief system, yeah? Do we know that heaven and hell exist? No one has ever gone and come back and said, like, hey, guys, man, there's a lot of fire out there, you know? So, it's, it's a belief, yeah? And another thing, it's more like... People really want to know. 
Do you understand? At least if you have assurance, like hey, when you, there's there's a place, man, if you go there, just everything is yours. You just think about it. It's right there. You get it. So what if the whole thing was drafted in a manner that to make people not want to have to live better in this world and then choose to live better in the other world which is the hereafter now <clears throat> what if maybe the elites uh, created all that for you not to acquire that energy wealth on this earth so that you can be able to protect your beloved ones give them whatever they need or even for other generations do you so understand? you don't create the world because the elites don't want you to but then how do you provide I mean, for your said family i'm saying you know like the way they write these things maybe the bible or any any other i understand, you know? it. I understand that yeah. you understand what i'm saying yeah. so what if whatever uh mufti menke is saying is that uh like you can ask God for every, anything. If you want more here, you can give him more here, and then the year after, you won't get any. Mm, yeah? Is that what he said? No. No, he said either this or that, or you can get here and or half here. here. You understand? You can get but, both ways. But can you get a lot here and a lot the other side? I think so, yeah. Then if that's the case, then it's not a bad thing. Do you understand? But then anyway. he's saying this according to this specific religion. That's what I'm saying. Mm -hmm. you, you asked why the title was this. Yeah. It's Elon religious. So for someone who is religious... To be honest, you don't religious, know what he's actually praying to. But I'm thinking he's somehow... If religious, spiritual, then yeah. you understand this. Yes. If he's not religious, he'll be saying, I don't care, do you understand? I'm but living for the now. There are people that it? live for the now, they don't care. Is it and not the guy who's blessed. trying to give us the uh, the future? You're not religious. You know. How is he giving and us a future? He's giving us a future with the, uh, I mean, with the Starlink. He wants, uh, what do you call this? I mean, to store all our consciousness in the computer, so that we can live the, in this world of infinity. And it's just like the way the Bible says, infinity. I mean, it's just like. Isn't that now going against God's plan? What yes, do you mean? yes. I mean, that's going against God's plan. But what's God's plan anyway? It's written in the books that it depends on what religion do you think you that's follow. God's plan? Do you think that's God's plan? What? Do you think that's God's plan? Which one? The one, I mean, the one that is written in the good books. Religious books? Yeah. I don't know. That's what I'm saying. It depends on what you believe in. So looking at what is happening around now in the world do you think that was god's plan that what things are happening the way they're happening now mm -hmm. see so i mean according to the it's books. a it's a it's a really hard thing to actually uh, it's a complex topic. yeah it's a really complex thing you can't discuss uh, everything and make sense in two minutes what i can minutes. say is this what i can say is this. just go within yourself find who you are you'll actually find a way that's it. You know, seek, seek, um, people go out there and seek for external factors and all those kind of things. And some people while, just don't. While they don't even seek internally or they don't find who they are first. You know, some even don't. You don't have to seek internally sometimes, but they're out yeah. there making it. Do you understand? It's true. They're not out there seeking the higher power, be it from nature, be it whether the person I think is it's more winning if you seek yourself entirely and know who you are and then you make it out there. But some people you don't, know those but little, they're still yeah. making it in life. I think it's their mind. The, the moment you understand how your mind works, I mean, you can just conquer everything. It's the mind. Yes, so. Let us know what you guys think. If there is something you guys want us to react to, feel free to motivate us by dropping a link to something that you want us to react to. We'll be more than glad to do it. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. And we'll see you in our next reaction video. Deuces.